Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45LC coming to you for the hot lead zone. And the name of the game is Bullet Hardness. Well, before we can discuss how powder coating changed the game, we need to know what the game was. Exactly what was Bullet Hardness? And gotten a lot of comments and questions about Bullet Hardness seems that when it comes to cast bullets the casters out there reloaders and shooters are overly stressed and concerned about the subject of bullet hardness and for good reason after all we want our cast bullets to shoot well and not lead our barrels right well i can't tell you how many questions i've gotten on bullet hardness testers and BHN, how to mix the alloy to get the proper hardness for a certain kind of load, this kind of thing. Rifle bullets, how hard should they be? All kinds of questions about bullet hardness. And even though shooters and reloaders know that bullet fit to the gun is the most important thing about the performance of our cast bullets, accuracy, and clean shooting, there's still a lot of concern about bullet hardness. It is the second most important factor in the performance of our cast bullets, but it's nowhere near as important as bullet fit. So the name of the game for many, many years was that the bullet hardness should be optimized to the velocity or pressure that we are shooting our bullets at. Now, of course, if we're shooting shotguns, slugs, or black powder projectiles, we want to use pure lead because that's the best for that. Pure lead is BHN 5 to 8 depending on whose scale you're using. But let's move on to smokeless powder and our cast bullets. So you see here are some bullets that we shoot at what we call standard velocity which is anywhere around 750 to 800 feet per second standard velocity loadings and all we need for standard velocity loadings then this is target or general shooting bullets is BHN 10 to 12 so if we use plain range scrap to make these bullets we're on good solid ground but now if we go ahead and load plus P velocity or light magnum or magnum or light rifle or we're loading for our auto pistols, we're gonna need BHN 15 to 18. And that can be achieved by mixing our range scrap with linotype or monotype, or even better yet, super hard alloy, which is 30% antimony. And we can get the hardness that we need for higher velocity shooting with our smokeless powder. That's optimization for magnum shooting or auto pistol shooting or rifle shooting. So this need to optimize to our velocity or pressure makes the game quite complicated when it comes to bullet hardness for our cast bullets. And no wonder there's so many questions. And, and casters can get into trouble if our alloys are too soft for the velocity we're shooting or if the alloy is too hard for the alloy that we're shooting. Now, of course, for those who want more information, I've got full videos on these subjects. Well, shooters and reloaders out there, we are now in the infancy of powder-coated bullets. And powder-coated bullets has already made a tremendous impact on cast bullet shooters. If you're on the sidelines and trying to hang on to the traditional ways, you need to think about what powder coating has done and that is, it has changed the game. When it comes to bullet hardness, we now no longer have to be concerned with bullet hardness. Within reason, of course. We still need enough hardness for the bullets to maintain themselves. But we can now use soft alloys to hard alloys in all velocity ranges. And it doesn't make any difference because the powder coating allows the shooting of any reasonable alloy well, without leading and with accuracy. To put it succinctly, with powder coating, the concept of bullet hardness optimization no longer applies. 
There are no Man. more questions coming in about bullet hardness from powder coaters. Shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45LC has the big red one. Bye for now.